All right, so we're doing a downstate eye contact drill at a local farmer's market today. So we got Willow, and all I'm doing is she's in a downstay. I'm maneuvering around her. If she gives me good eye contact, I say good. I step forward. I deliver a food reward to her. I step back to my starting position, and then I continue to maneuver around her again. All right, good. So she gave me eye contact. I say good. I step forward. I deliver a food reward. I step back. Notice I've got my remote collar in my hand. We're past the remote collar conditioning process in training. So if she disobeys me, I do have that distance communication with her that I can finally tune to her at the moment. Good. Okay. Now notice when I'm behind her, she needs to maintain that downstay, but she also has to learn to turn around good and look at me even though I'm behind her. All right. So that is a critical behavior set for a dog to understand. You've got to stay in that position and you still are expected to make good eye contact with me as time goes on. Good. Okay, so notice how I'm just continuing to rotate around in the environment as different people and things maneuver around. I want to see good comfort level. Good. From her in that downstay, there might be other dogs around, there might be kids around, there might be people around, all that's good. All right, let's say someone's trying to let their dog walk up to her while we're in this environment. Good. If that's going on, I'm going to step over there and ask them to not allow their dog to get to her because we're in a working mode right now. Also, it would be considered a breach of boundary if I just allow a dog or a kid or a person just to walk up to her and just start interacting with her when she may not be uh, okay with that at the time. Okay. The point of the downstay eye contact drill, number one, we want sustained eye contact on us from our dog in a variety of situations and locations. Number two, we want eye contact to be a default behavior, meaning if we're in a distracting environment and there's things going on around us, we want our dog to desire, want to desire and want to pay more attention to us than other things going on around us because what that does in the long term, it reduces stress and it helps the dog be more calm in the environment, in the situation. All right. So I hope that makes sense. Do your downstay eye contact drills as many, in as many different locations and places as you can. You're good. And uh, just continue on with that. And the more places you do it, the more environments that you go to and do it in, uh, the stronger that eye contact's gonna be. Notice how that dog just walked up. I walked over to help the lady with the leash. And uh, no, no factor from Willow. She used to be dog reactive, but that dog walked right up to her. The eye contact is so strong, it's literally no factor, all right? Practice this wherever you go and achieve success and achieving your goals with your dog.